Can I be frank? Because Frank says dirt is a beautiful paradox. He says it's something that has no place in our lives but under our shoes. He says it's also the incubator that unlocks life's basic necessities. As long as we follow the rules, dirt lets us access food, extract tools, and reap our barley and hops. So yes, he said, from dirt we get beer. Now, if you listen carefully, you can hear the hand of almost 10,000 farmers who try to stay as close to nature as they can. You can hear over 120,000 African smallholder farmers harvest local ingredients for local production. Meanwhile, you hear the sound of company growth going hand in hand with reduced water consumption. Not to mention carbon dioxide output reduction by using something like windmills or solar panels to power breweries. Frank says, can I be frank? Cause it's tough. He's aware we're taking baby steps here towards the improvement of this beautiful sphere we call home. But many small steps add up to light years, so he upgrades the range of low alcohol beer and chills them in coolers that use less than half of the juice of coolers they had in 2010. Frank will tell you that it's his job to responsibly sell you the best beers in the world. Frank understands that selling nine people one beer beats selling nine beers to each because they all get to go home feeling appreciative. Frank makes smart moves. Frank takes the byproducts of beer and sells it to farm because it turns out to be super nutritious for cattle. So now, instead of paying for the disposal of the byproducts, he makes a modest profit on what colleagues consider waste. On top of that, the farmers save money on food for livestock. Frank told me all this while he was pouring me one. It was as though his words had turned liquid and his story was now filling the glass he was handing me. I looked at the golden fluid behind the star and, for the first time, became aware of its transparency. He cares. But don't take my word for it. You can read it yourself. Let's get free.